This is a Newport 2 long neck putter. Specifically, it is a part of the new Scotty Cameron B3 triple black limited edition family of putters. And Scotty Cameron sent me all four of them. Now, the most recent full line of putters was released back in January of 2024. That was the Phantom series. And before that, we had the 2023 release of the Super Select. However, every year, usually about two or three times a year, Scotty Cameron releases something in the limited edition series. This year, in the summer of 2024, it is going to be B3 Triple Black. So what does B3 Triple Black mean? Well, Scotty Cameron is a car guy, big time. And evidently, in the world of cars, specifically convertible, B3 stands for black ragtop as well as black interior on a black car, B3. The triple black is simply referring then to his homage to that, which means it's going to be a PVD finish in black over the head as well as a black shaft and a black Scotty Cameron grip. So you get B3 triple black. From a construction standpoint, these putters are going to be very, very similar to the Super Select family of blade style putters. Again, four putters in the B3 Triple Black family, all of them being blades. The biggest difference between the putters is going to be in the hosel configuration and therefore then the balance and the amount of toe hang that each putter is going to have. Now, as you can see, this Newport 2 long neck creates just a little bit of toe hang. The toe itself is hanging down and is balanced in such a way that it creates maybe about, say, 10 or 15 degrees of toe hang. It's nearly face balanced. So a putter like this is going to be especially good for players who create a nearly straight back, straight through stroke. If you go to a different one of the Scotty Cameron putters, in this case then a Santa Fe, you can see that this has a significant amount of toe hang. This is going down probably well over 60 degrees. And the reason for that, while the head shape, this Newport style head shape is nearly identical, the hosel configuration is this very short, what Scotty refers to as a flow neck hosel. And that creates a different type of a balance. So when you get this much toe hang, this indicates it is going to be a putter that is going to be much better suited for somebody who has a relatively strong arch putting stroke, who on the backswing is going to be taking the putter back to the inside, squaring the face at the moment of impact, and then releasing the putter head, releasing the toe through the impact zone. So again, as you can see, while the heads themselves are very, very similar in their shape and their design, because of the hosel mechanism, the toe hang is going to be very different. The balance is going to be very different. And when you swing these putters, they are going to feel different in your hand. So like the Super Select family of putters, as well now as the Phantom putters, the B3 Triple Black putters all have a dual milling. Well, what does that actually mean? That means that a first passing of a milling machine goes through and creates a very deep milling pattern across the hitting area. And you can see that in this very circular pattern that goes all the way from the toe out to the heel. Now, the advantage of going with a deep milling pattern across the face is it softens up the sound and also softens up the sensation you get at impact. Now, after the first milling is completed, a second milling goes across the hitting area in the dual mill design putters, and it shaves off the peaks and the points that are created by the first milling pass. So, according to Scotty Cameron, you're gonna get more steel on the golf ball. It's going to enhance the sense of feel and a sense of precision you're going to get while still maintaining the sound and the feel that the first milling created. Now, from an alignment standpoint, these limited edition putters are all going to have a single black alignment line that is a little bit darker than the PVD finish that has been applied to each one of them. It is not going to stand out nearly as brightly as it will on the Super Select family of putters, and you definitely aren't gonna get the type of alignment feature that you're going to find on phantom putters. However, these putters, when it really comes down to it, are made for their aesthetic looks. They are made to look a certain way to be a collectible item. This is a limited edition model. Hence the reason why there are a lot of things on these putters that you're not gonna get in the everyday Scotty Cameron putters that you'll find at retail. So as I said, Scotty Cameron made all four of the putters in the B3 Triple Black family available to me. And while obviously there have been new ports in just about all of his recent blade style putter releases, and the Catalina and the Santa Fe are throwbacks to some stuff that Scotty Cameron had done with Titleist back in the day, this is the putter that fascinated me the most, this um, Newport long neck, because for whatever reason, there is an infatuation out there with long neck putters. People, I think, just love the idea and love the look of long necks. Um, so I took it out into the putting green, and what did I find? Well, from a sound and a looks perspective, it sounds and feels just about identical to me to the Super Select family of putters. And it should, because that dual milling across the face should be producing the same type of sound and feel that you're getting in Super Select. This is milled 303 stainless steel. The same face and hitting area are 
on there. What's different is obviously this very dark PVD finish. Now it looks really premium. Um, in person, looking at it, there is definitely a reduced amount of glare. That That's a good thing. Um, it looks like nothing else that you're going to see out on the putting green. There aren't very many people out there with all black Scotty Cameron putters. So there's definitely a cool factor to it. Um, I also really like these old school Scotty Cameron rubber grips, um, the very, very small ones. I have big hands and I get usually a little bit better performance of slightly larger grips, but from a feel standpoint, these grips feel fantastic. I also really like the fact that it has a black stepless shaft. So from visual distraction standpoint, there are no visual distractions. Now, with that black alignment line on a PVD dark finish, you're gonna have to really pay attention to lining up this putter. But let's, let, let's really be honest with ourselves. If you were to buy a B3 triple black putter, and you were to game this, it's because you want something that's gonna look like nothing else that's gonna be out there on the greens. You want something special and you're going to pay for it because this putter is $750. All the B3 triple black putters are $750. That is about $300 to $350 more than what you're going to pay in most golf shops and specialty stores for a super select putter. So what you're getting for that extra $300 to $350 is the look of a Scotty Cameron putter like no one else at your club or in your area is probably gonna have. Again, very limited in terms of distribution for these things. So you're gonna get the same sound, feel, precision, and performance that you would get with Super Select, but you're gonna get in a package that doesn't look anything like what you're going to see around your golf course and around your golf club. Is that worth it to you? That is completely up to you. You know, that is something that is a personal decision. It's a little out of my tax bracket, but that doesn't mean that I can't admire it and I can't recommend it to people who have the means. If you've got the means, it's a pretty cool putter. So listen, if you've got any questions about the B3 Triple Back Limited Edition family of putters from Scotty Cameron, be sure to drop them in the comment area below. I try and monitor the comments and answer as many of them as I possibly can. Let me know what you think of B3 Triple Black, if this is something you think you would like to put in your bag. Do you like black or PVD finished, dark finished putters, or do you prefer the classic bright silvery chrome type finish on your putters? Um, I think it's gonna be fascinating to see if you see any of these things in the wild. Again, at $750, they're not gonna be a whole lot of these things that are gonna be uh, all around the practice green and around everybody's club. But I don't think there's any denying, it's a very, very cool club if you're somebody who has the means. So glad I was able to bring this to you. Thanks again for Scotty Cameron for making them available. And I'll look forward to talking to you again really, really soon.